But yeah, I agree. That's that was it was a really nice touch. Yeah. For the event, I enjoyed it immensely. Have just having um, having the headsets there. Like I had bought, I had actually bought a new set of um, of headphones. Like it was the first. It was the first like actual like set of cans that I had. had yeah. Had purchased. I usually just like wore earbuds. Yeah. I bought them to like wear on the flight and stuff. But right, I was right. also like, oh, I'm gonna listen to like music and stuff while I play and see <laughs> and see how that how that goes. And, and then, then I got, got there. there. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna use these headphones <laughs> instead. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's great. They preempted you. Yep. Oh. Uh, just runs in and gets grabbed. All right. So obviously, one of the main ways that Falco sets up. Um, his his neutral pressure in this matchup is by using his lasers. And yes. The idea, though, being that Falco wants to um, prevent Marth from having like a ready response to it, right? Yeah. Oh my God, that, that was, was pretty pretty nasty. That yeah, was he got so like good. the instant like second power shield. Yeah, but Zoo reacted to it so well. Oh no! Oh oh, how did he get that reverse hit? We take it though, I guess. Yeah. Right. Oh my God. QB's power shield rate is like 50% there. Oh, that was smart, but he wasn't quite able to like get the read on where he was going after that air dodge. Uh-huh. Oh, he wanted him off stage. Yeah. <coughs> that should be it, right? Oh. I don't know I mean, if he got to turn around. That fair was still like super okay. good. Yeah, yeah, he's just gonna. Ooh. Oof. That was that was mm. cool because Zoo went for a really cute way of approaching with the way back to Dak Shine into turn around laser. Right. Pew Pew just sort of stood his ground. He just like, waited for well, it. You you can do that. That's fine. It's like <laughs> you're you you're not close enough to actually threaten me with this, so I'm just gonna just watch you look kind of goofy. Wow. Oh man, what a clean up on that. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> Zoo loves that fair. Oh no, I thought he was gonna. I, I wasn't sure if he was going to collect on that down air. Ooh, so smart. Turn around, neutral B. Oh, that was really good. Get the double jab. And he wasn't quite able to get the... If he had smashed EI just a little bit further, he would have grabbed the ledge yeah. and he would have been fine. But good job to, to Pew Pew for recognizing and collecting on it and getting the, up, or the down air. Ooh. I like the up smash out of shield. Because getting Marth in the air can be really scary for him. Especially with the I percentages. Feel like, I feel like I'd like to see Zoo go for like reverse bears in that situation instead of the fair. Like the fair's cute, but the bear's better. Yeah. Oh. Oh wow! What a great backdash. He's just not afraid at all. He's like, I'm going this way. Wow. <laughs> that would have been pretty pretty neat, but he just wasn't quite in the right position. For I mean, it. he called he called it out perfectly. He just yeah. wasn't high enough. Oh my gosh. That's it. Oh, <laughs> he, just, he just goes out there with him. See ya. Just, just stay out there. Let's go this way. Hey, I have something <laughs> I want to show you over here. Come with me. Ugh. All right. Fountain, um, I, you know I like this choice. I like it a lot, too. I think that the platform heights can make it really awkward for Mark here in terms of how he combos, and it allows Falco a lot of unorthodox combo options. Mm -hmm. And... Different I think this stage suits play. the way that Zoo plays. Yes, I agree. Oh, nice. Good trade. Yeah, because Zoo, Zoo, likes, uh, Zoo likes rhythms other than what you would normally expect. Yeah. And this stage definitely can help him with that. Oh, that recovery was so good. That good air dodge. Cover set. You know, I like that. Yeah. He went for the... He, he called him out on that. He showed him, he showed him the side B, or the, the shield breaker. And then he just like canceled it so that Zoo was stuck in a bad situation. I, I love uh, edge guarding with the back hit of, of up tilt from Mark. Yeah, because it actually it was actually like, really sick reverse up tilt. It has really high no knockback. Uh, it's a really frustrating hit for Falcos. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that was really good, uh, CC. <gasps> Call him out with that one. Very oh, nice. So good. That's what Zoo started. He started. He tried to get the first stock with that too. He's trying. Yeah, to... Yeah, Toy needs to recognize when he's going to start going for that because you can totally up B like right through it. Yeah, and you know that's actually one of a, one of PPU's strengths as a player. His his recovery as Marth is amazing. Mm -hmm. Whoa! All right then. That was uh, that was something. Yeah. That uh, that bears. Great recovery. Ooh, 
Yeah, I'm not sure what that would have done had he, had Pew Pew connected with that bear, like scooped him off the ledge. Yeah. It probably would have tippered. Ooh, that bear's so hard to tipper with, though. Oh, that was really smart. Zoo recognized that he had just enough space to get that laser out, and he instantly dares through and so good. counter Gimp. Zoo's playing neutral really differently. He recognized that uh, K-Toy's power shield rate is like off the charts, and so he's playing a way more dash dance heavy neutral now. Right. And that makes the lasers that he does shoot. Yeah, the intermittent lasers, and then, um, you know, seeking out those openings that he can like get into. Oh, I really like what he's going for there, but he's just too much damage for the CC to be effective. That was not a good place to up. <laughs> All right, we got we got a bit of a lead to work with. Oh, oh man, get get out of. Oh no, oh uh, no. <laughs> man, that was crazy. That was a great cleanup right there oh by, by Pew Pew. The presence of my to use Nair there was like that was so sick. That was so sick.